Good day. In this video, we're going to look at fractions plus and minus in algebra. We're going to show you how to simplify these three sums. So here is our first sum. They give us this expression and they say simplify. It's part of the grade 9 and older syllabus. You write the LCD and you keep the LCD. So you write your LCD and you put a long line on top of it. Then you ask, with 1y times y, to get to 2xy. Then you see that is times 2x, you also times 2x at the top. So you write 2x, bracket, and you put that packet down. Then you ask, 1y times this x, to get to 2xy. Then you see, I have to times the x with 2y, to get to 2xy, and I also times that at the top. And that gives me a plus 2y times bracket x plus y. Then you must ask the question with what y times 2xy to get to 2xy. And that is times 1, so you also have to times the top by 1. Then you write minus 1 times the packet that you have over here in a bracket. Then you write your LCD again. I said here, write the LCD and keep the LCD. Let me just simplify this top part by timesing the 2x in here. Then we get 2x squared minus 2xy. Then we times the plus 2y into this bracket. Then you get plus 2xy plus 2y squared. Then you times the minus 1 into this bracket. Then you get minus x squared plus y squared. Then we further simplify this top. Keep the LCD. This plus 2x squared minus x squared will give me an x squared. The minus 2xy plus 2xy will cancel each other. The plus 2y squared plus y squared will give me a plus 3y squared. This is then the fully simplified version of this expression. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. It is our second expression that we have to simplify. They give us this and they say simplify. It's part of grade 9 and older. The catch here is you have to factorize the bottoms and make them friendly. So you write down the two lines, you put down your numerators. Now we have to factorize the denominators or the bottoms and make them friendly. So that denominator there can be factorized. You should know you're factorizing by now. And then I have to make this denominator friendly. It has to be in the same order as these. It will help me later. So you change the sign in front of this fraction. And you flip the x and the y over the minus. This is allowed. You must find out why. Now we're going to write the LCD and keep it and finish the problem. Our LCD in this case will be x minus y, x plus y in brackets. Keep your line. Then you ask yourself, with what do I times this bottom to get this bottom? Then you'll see, if I times this by 1, I'll get this. So also have to times the top by 1. So I write 1, bracket, x squared, close the bracket. Then you ask, with what do I times this bottom to get this bottom? Then I see, I have to times this bottom by x plus y. So also have to times the top by x plus y. Then we write, minus x times x plus y at the top. So you keep your LCD, long line, you times the 1 with the x squared, and you get x squared, then you times the minus x into this bracket. Then you get minus x squared minus xy. Now you simplify this top or numerator further, keep the LCD for now. Like we said, you keep your LCD and you simplify the top, x squared minus x squared cancel each other, so you're left with minus xy at the top. And here is my simplified version of this fraction plus sum. The last expression of common fractions in algebra that we're going to simplify in this video is this one. But be careful, if you're not in grade 10 and you're younger, like grade 9, don't look at this, video, this part, please. First thing we're going to do is going to make the denominators friendly and factorize them if, they, if it's possible. 
So we write our lines down, put the numerators at the top, and then we try and factorize this denominator, which will look like this, and this denominator is already friendly. I advise you just to put a bracket around it. Now we write our LCD and keep it. So this will be my LCD. You ask what well, write times this bottom to get to this bottom. I times this denominator with 1 to get to this denominator and I times the top by 1. It will be 1 times 3AB. Then you ask what well, do you times this denominator to get to this full denominator. Then I'll see, I'll have to times this denominator with a squared minus ab plus b squared, also times the top by that. Remember to put the plus 1 down and the bracket behind it. So we then keep our LCD like we said a few times, and we simplify the numerator at the top. 1 times 3ab will be 3ab, then I times the plus 1 into this bracket with a distributive law which will then give me this. Now I simplify the top, keep the bottom. Keep the LCD, keep your long line, simplify this top. 3AB minus AB will give me a plus 2AB. The A square I will keep and the B square we will keep. Now do be careful, this top can now be factorized further. Like I said, you keep your lowest common denominator, factorize this top, which is possible in this case, and now something nice will happen. You may cancel that bracket goes in itself once, and that bracket goes in itself once. Then this will be the final answer of this simplified common fraction algebra problem. Please stop the video and get your brain around what happened here. This video is mainly for grade 9 and older. In grade 7, you were taught that there are three basic common fraction sums in the world. Firstly, there were plus and minus sums. You make the bottoms the same and then you do the sum, which we will do in this video. The second type was the times and divide type. If there was a divide, you would tip in times and then cancel up and down. The third common fraction kind of question you would run into is fractions in equations that you times by the LCD and finish the question. We will cover number one in this video. Example of a number one is grade six, a half plus two thirds. You'll make the bottoms the same. We find the LCD and keep the LCD and work out the top and simplify the answer. That's what we will do in this video. The second type said that if you get a multiplication sum with common fractions, you will cancel up and down. So 5 goes in here once, 5 goes in there twice. 5 goes in here once, and 5 goes in there five times. Then you times the top together, you get 40. You times the bottom, you get 1. Final answer, 40. Not purpose of this video. The third type, if you have an equation with fractions in it, you times by the LCD, in this case 6. You look at the video equations with fractions. If you times each term with the LCD 6, you'll get 3x plus 4 equals 3. Then you finish the equation. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into this kind of problem and you have trouble solving it, you can send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number and a clear WhatsApp photo of where you tried it. Then we'll, we will look at the problem for you, try and solve it, and send back an answer to you as soon as possible. Enjoy algebraic fractions.